Hi, this is Kelly, and this is day five of the Raw Food Diaries. What is that? That is my personal thoughts on the raw food diet. And today I'm going to talk about the big question everybody has with um, the idea that thoughts create your reality, or can you create your reality? Um, I'm challenging you to think beyond our norm, which is that we're sort of a victim of uh, the circumstances that happen in our life and help you think maybe we're actually creating them by our emotions and our thoughts. So I wanted to share two stories. Uh, one is yesterday, all day, I was researching the best point shoes in ballet to buy because it was about, I don't know, 30 years ago that I was a point ballet dancer for eight years. And I wanted to buy the latest, greatest point shoes and start ballet dancing again. So I found a site that makes them by hand and you trace your feet. And I was all excited. I was picking the right ballet tights and shoes and everything. I got to work this morning where I uh, teach a spin class and they were opening up the walls to put giant metal beam supporters in to hold ballet bars. I had no idea ballet bars were going into the real rider gym and the Pilates gym. And I was like, oh, this is per perfect. Ballet bars for my new ballet shoes. So did my thoughts create that? I don't know, but they certainly lined up with it. And then I had a quantum physics class on the real rider bike. And we went back and we thanked all the people in our lives that made a difference. And one of my students, Michelle, she lost her mother five years ago, and she was thanking her. And when she came to class the next time, I asked her, did anything new happen uh, from our quantum physics Qigong, a real rider bike class? And she said, yes, on my birthday two weeks ago, I, my mother, before she died, used to wake me up at 545, the time I was born, I think it was 545. It was a really early hour in the morning, a specific time. She used to wake her up and say, guess what, this is the moment, this is the exact time you were born. And she would get really excited about these moments with her mother. And on her birthday, two weeks ago, she was awoken in her sleep and looked at the, the uh, clock next to the bed and it was the exact time she was born, as if her mom was waking her up right after our class. So I'll let you think about whether or not that was just synchronicity or coincidence or whether or not telepathy really works and we can speak to those who crossed over, which I believe we can, because energy does not die. It just changes form. So my view of the afterlife is that we join up with all the lives we've ever been, which is a big, giant quantum field or a magnetic field of personalities which make us up. And we can call on that any time. And then, with all this healing and Qigong, um, I got an email from Laura Day, a famous author who wrote a book, The Practical uh, Intuition. And uh, she was looking for 50 healers to come and join her in New York. And I, she was like looking at resumes. I sent her my YouTube, the one you're watching, and said, I would love to do this. And uh, she said, okay, you're chosen. Now, was that synchronicity or were my thoughts lining up with that field? Again, all of these are examples of your energy and what it's lining up with and whether you're open to what's coming at you. I have another funny story, really funny. I have a YouTube where you're chanting an old ancient chant for money. Ambrazi Nama. And I'm chanting it all day to make the YouTube for you to learn this amazing chant because it's my most popular blog. And after doing it all day, I got bombarded with this one phone number and my husband's like, just answer it, just answer it. And finally I answered it and it was, what was it? It was the, uh, a survey. David, what was the survey? <laughs> David, what was the survey that was calling me like crazy after I was doing the chanting? Uh, uh, Nielsen. No, uh, the Nielsen ratings. The GB. They were calling me. And I'm like, no, take me off the list. 
And I hang up and David goes, that was from all your chanting. They actually pay you. I'm like, oh. So this is a great example of you could be putting things out there and you're getting it. You're getting results, but you may not be open to it because you're used to the same pattern, the drum that's going on all the time from your old thoughts. Your old thoughts create the life you have. If you want a new life, you have to have new thoughts. And so I just wanted to give you an experiment to try to get some new thoughts. Here's the experiment. Get, pick out an incredible, beautiful song. I'll actually try to find one and post it under this YouTube. A 30 minute like meditation song, that would be ideal. And go back through your entire life and pick out moments that you're grateful for and send out an emotion of gratitude towards each of those as they spring up in your mind. You might not find you have a lot that come to you, or you might find they come readily. Either one, just go with the flow. And then, as you start to open yourself up to things you're grateful in life, more of these life experiences start to come back to you. Like, I went and did this Qigong experiment on the bike, and I had all these amazing moments that I was sending gratitude out. And uh, today, I just had this incredible memory that I'd forgotten about. On my 16th birthday, when we were traveling from Seattle to Anchorage to live there, my dad was in the Air Force, my family was sleeping in the cabin, my brother and my parents, and I was, of course, on the Polarium, looking at the northern lights, basking in their glory, and the whales were leaping in the ocean, and I was hanging out with the backpackers, you know, really wanting to backpack with them for the rest of my life through Alaska and not finish my life as planned. Uh, anyway, midnight happened and the boat that we were on stopped in Juneau. And of course it was my 16th birthday and I told the backpackers and they said, we want to take you to Juneau for a beer. I said, okay, I'm in. And I didn't tell my parents because they were sound asleep. And I went to Juneau, the little island. Uh, on the icy strait in Alaska, and I had a beer with these incredible people that were gonna backpack Alaska. It was the best day of my life. I'd forgotten about it, because I'd been focusing on the worst moments of my childhood. You see, so all I was getting was negative results, negative patterns, and they were stringing together negative thoughts. But if you start looking at the bright side, it strings to it and it's an, a magnetic field or whatever, we don't really know. They're even calling it the Higgs boson. What gives uh, energy matter? In other words, what turns it into a manifestation? What turns photons into matter? What turns energy into matter? Is it our consciousness? I think it is, but we're not there yet. But this YouTube is, so if you like it, give it a thumbs up and follow me. I have more experiments for you to try and um, today is what raw food desserts can you enjoy on the raw food diet? I'm going to string them along and show you my bike class. It was on all the songs during my time in Alaska, cruising down with Carla Condi, the Northern Lights, playing eight track tapes to Super Tramp. Thanks for joining me. Today is going to be a ride to the songs that I was a teenager playing on an A-track, living in Anchorage, Alaska, cruising down Northern Lights Boulevard to Super Tramp. And then we have Addicted to Love, we have Bill Collins, ACDC, and there's two giant mountains. Nine minutes, guess what they're to? That, you guessed it, Freebird and Stairway to Heaven and it ends with Super Tramp. It's gonna be incredible. You're gonna lose five pounds and you're gonna to get to experience Alaska with me in the 80s. Back when they are building the pipeline. Good job. Do something This is my all-time favorite raw dessert. I can't even make it home from my drive from Whole Foods without eating them all. Raw organic pecans with crystal maple syrup. This is probably the healthiest of all the desserts I'm showing tonight in its beauty and nature. Just a papaya split open and you just scoop it out and eat it from its peel.
divine. This is an incredible raw dessert. These are mango coconut cookies. I purchased them at Whole Foods. This is a perfect Valentine dessert to make for yourself or for somebody you love. Raw almond ice cream and organic blackberries. I'm heading for a walk on the ocean. I love it when it's stormy. It has such a different feeling here. <laughs> oh, just love the color. Hey there. Hey there, little bird. I love how they like to walk in the wake, the birds. Thanks for watching. And if you too believe that you create your own reality with your thoughts and the energy, uh, give this a thumbs up. And if you don't believe that you create your, your reality with your thoughts, then give this a thumbs up. <laughs> subscribe and follow me. I have more fun stories to ponder with you about, or at least give you something to think about. Take care. Good night.